Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Four Strategy Gaming. We are continuing our Let's Play series, working our way through the female characters. We are now up to the Lady Monk. Say hello to Lady Monk. Let's get going. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Lady Monk time. How exciting. I'll be making sure we uh, take a look at all the uh, all the spells and abilities. Get a nice, good, healthy look at everything that's going on. And, uh, of course, the full exploratory playthrough as well with our lady character. Our ladies are the explorers. Miss Dora here. That's what I should have called her. I should have called her Dora. Dora the Explorer. All right. Yeah. Done so many of these, guys. Hopefully you're still finding them entertaining, enjoyable. Thought-provoking, even? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows, really? Now, uh, we're getting our, we're getting close to being done, the uh, the single Let's Plays, working our way from the start. Uh, that means we'll be working into the cooperative game playthroughs. And uh, also, I do want to, and I plan to, spend some time at level 13 with all the characters, looking at all the spells uh, a little more in depth. So uh, expect that to happen as well. And let's go ahead and get our um, let's go ahead and get our cauldron of Jordan here from the blacksmith. Thank you, sir. And actually, let's get our equipment. Start out with our equipment here. Our oh, bracers aren't to level six, huh? All right, Miss Lady Monk. She's looking pretty sharp here. Looking pretty sharp, Lady Monk, huh? Yeah, look at that. Looks nice. Nice little hat thing you got going on there too. Looks great. All right, so we could probably get rid of that. Right away. All right, so we start off uh, with not a whole lot in terms of spells. We start off with just the Fist of Thunder, as well as Blinding Flash. I like Blinding Flash a lot, actually. Uh, I think in my last playthrough, I really didn't get the opportunity to really utilize it because, you know, I, I, I need those damage dealers. Those are certainly important, uh, especially while leveling up early on. So. Uh, just kind of bypass blinding flash, but I think that's something that could certainly see its use Once you have the full opportunity to use all six slots once you have all six active skill slots available um, I think something like that could certainly find its use. We do, do also have breath of heaven there uh, So I guess we could I guess we could pick that up really quick Let's get Kane's journal. I'll give myself those 15 extra XP It's every little bit counts, right? Am I right? Yeah, all right, so Let's, uh, well, first I'll show you before we actually leave the blinding flash. So it's 50 spirit creates a flash of light that blinds all enemies within 20 arcs for 5 seconds. Blinded enemies have a 30% chance to miss with attacks and will not attack unless they are attacked first. And then, of course, Fist of Thunder deals a series of extremely fast punches, deal 100% weapon damage to lightning damage, and then each strike has a 15% chance to interrupt the enemy. The interruption is actually really nice. Uh, really nice addition to that. Otherwise, just would have been a basic damage dealing kind of spell. So there's a little blinding action there. You know how it is. All right, Miss Lady Monk, are you excited to do this playthrough? I don't know how many times I've run this beta. It's been a lot. About an hour's worth of content, although you saw that speed run I did with the Barbarian. Sub 15 minutes. I want to, uh, I want to see if we can improve that time at some point, too. Definitely think it's possible. Look at that blinding flash. I don't have enough spirit. Just kind of spam it, why not? Right? Alright, let's do that exploring, as I promised. Taking a look at all edges of the map. And you know what else, actually? It's not up yet while I'm recording this, but uh, we're having uh, a video go up that's going to be looking at the randomization in the game. Because I know a lot of people were wondering about that. A lot of people wanted to know how randomized was it really. Uh, was there any? <laughs> people are wondering if there's even any randomization in this game. There certainly is. And uh, hopefully that video that should be out before you watch this. If you guys haven't seen it, go take a look. But hopefully that randomization video uh, will prove insightful for you guys. I, I, I take a look at... Essentially what I did was I took a look at the the randomization that is in the, the normal like outside zones. And then the randomization that's available in the dungeons themselves. You know? That's what I did. So let's see what was that? What was that? 5.2. Well, right now I'm at 9.0 and 10.8. So 5.2 is not really going to do much for me. So that will be sold. That will be sold. Most definitely. Most certainly. Absolutely. 
Let's go back to do our exploratory work. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like that, uh, that that randomization video. It took a long time to get all the footage for it because uh, I had to do multiple run-throughs and uh, full exploring, obviously, so you guys could see everything. I had heard the rumors, but I XP. thought just fancies of bored women until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Oh, what? Our own citizens. Oh, my gosh. Mad. Ooh, ooh, lost journal. All I know is I got XP from it, so that's awesome. We gonna see some guys come up out of the ground here? Yes, we will. Hello, how you doing? Pick up that one gold piece. All right, so that's that whole area. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go over here. Wretched mother's got to drop first. Otherwise, they'd be spewing up those rhythms. And level three already. And that's gonna bring us right into that lashing tail kick. So we can go ahead and replace blinding flash with that. 25 spirit is the cost. Six seconds school down. That's the deadly roundhouse kick for 130% weapon damage. So we'll be starting off with these. Oh, what a miss. What a miss that was. Tisk, tisk, tisk. There, force. How could you? That was awful. This guy's not doing so well. War if no <laughs> check his journal. I returned to Conduras after twenty years. The burden of countless failures and tragedies heaped upon my shoulders. Am I being punished for helping that stranger hunt the dark wanderer? I always thought Deckard Cain had a madman. But perhaps he was right. Perhaps he can banish the shadow hanging over my life. Well, you kind of missed the uh, missed the boat there. You almost made it to town, Warof, but not quite. Look at these little little quarter of treasures. Oh, he, all he had was gold. Come on, you gave me no blues in that. Awful, absolutely awful. Stupid quills. Stealing my treasures. I wonder if he ate it. There must have been weapons in there. There must have been something besides the gold. Did you eat it? Not a fan. Roundhouse kick to the face. So strong. These are the ruins of old Tristram. The gods have not smiled upon us. Alright, let's get the exploring done over here at the old ruins. Shall we? Hmm. I'm super bummed that the game got pushed back to 2012. I really am. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about that at all. Um, I really thought they were going to do it. I mean, you know, it really looked like they, they, that 2011, like this Christmas, we would have been playing, but we're going to have to wait a little while longer. You know, that I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be playing Skyrim in the process, that's for sure. There's no way I'm not playing that game. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be Praise interested the in. That be. Griswold, bless his dear heart, risked everything to bring that dear boy home from the cathedral. Though he is troubled and moody now, I am certain it will pass, and he will once again be the sweet word we all love. Thank you for the information, Mr. Spina. Ooh, more than one roundhouse kick, huh? Hmm. Quite a resilience one you were. But here we are, back in New Tristram. Thank you for your help. Yet again. So I'm sure by now, guys, I mean, you've seen these Let's Plays if you've been watching them consistently. Um, Here, you know, you've seen all there is to see in the beta, right? I mean, so me either, I if you don't get in, don't feel like you missed story. out that much because this is really all there is to see, everything that you've been watching, you know? Um, there's really not... I said it in uh, the last playthrough as well. I, I do hope that they patch in some PvP. I just, I you know, I think that that would keep people on the servers. It would keep people playing consistently because it's just in and of itself, even without a reward system, player versus player combat's fun. And even if it is, you know, only at level 13 with only four active skills available and only so many skills that you can even pull from, it's still, it'd still be worth it for a lot of players. I know, obviously, myself. Uh, clearly, right? I mean, there's no question about that. I would obviously enjoy it, but I, I, I think that there's a, a good portion of the player base that would, that would enjoy just having that option to be able to do the PvP. So, so Blizzard, please, if you're watching this for some odd reason, <laughs> please include that. That'd be great. 
All right, well, let's throw on the Mantra of Evasion then, because, I, I, you know, we'll, we'll switch it up. This is pretty much like what I used all through the last Monk playthrough, are these these things here, so. God. Okay, so let's switch it up a little bit. Get rid of the Lash and Tail Kick. We'll go ahead and throw on Mantra of Evasion. It is going to grant myself and allies within 40 yards a 30% dodge chance. So 30% chance to dodge attacks and last 120 seconds. So right now I have got no spirit spender, so my, my spirit's gonna be sitting at full for a while. While I'm using this. But, you know, I'll be dodging them attacks, right? Because it's necessary at this level. Time to go up here, and how we doing? Yep, we explored all that area of the map. Check the corner over here, there should be like a stump, and there it is. There's either a stump or a corpse or a treasure chest or whatever over there. Like every time. Oh, come on, you guys, what are you doing? N not much is having the opportunity to even strike at me, but those, those who do, they will have their chance to hit me reduced by 30%. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, but again, as you can see, nothing's really uh, getting anywhere close to me. You know what I saw today, which was awesome? The uh, the Machinima tool, uh, the, the basically the, the thing that allows players to do camera work in-game to make kind of movie types of things off of games, uh, it's being worked on for Diablo 3. Now, we're stuck to the isometric type of camera angle that is available in the game, clearly, but the fact that that's, I don't know, that's something I'd like to play with. I, like, time, you know, given my time constraints, we'll have to see if that's an opportunity because I'd have to learn the whole system and everything, and that obviously would take a, quite a bit of time. And then on top of just learning it, I don't want to just, you know, throw any old crappy video. I, I try to make sure that the quality is high and, you know, the videos are decent. So if I were to make a Machinima movie, it would probably be a, quite a production, and it would take quite a while. So we'll have to see if that's something I can pull off. Maybe it's something that I can do. Uh, with others, you know, maybe maybe that'd be like a little group project that could be fun. I'd love that. I would love that. Yes, I would. I could do crappy voice work for it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'll just talk in my deepest voice and I'll be the barbarian. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's something that I always wanted to try, but again, I've got so much else going on all the time. I really can't, you know, 24 hours in a day. That's what we're stuck with and with all the stuff I'm trying to do right now. Ugh. What what I am excited for too is come release, even though there isn't gonna be a structured system and you know, there, there it may not have crazy balancing, I, I'm still gonna have Diablo 3 PvP tournaments. Don't question me. Don't you dare question me on, <laughs> on that. I will, there, there, there will be force hosted tournaments, absolutely. And we can talk about prize pools. Um, I would have to really talk to Blizzard about that. That would also depend on whether or not custom games are available. Like, can I make a custom game to play against a certain person? Or is it only going to be the ladder system? Because if it's the ladder system, it would obviously be much more difficult to set games up. Like, I want this team playing versus this team. But, you know, whether or not there's a prize pool or whatever, or maybe there'll just be prizes, like kind of a giveaway thing, like we'll give away a piece of gear in the game or something like that. Whether or not actual money can be involved, I don't know. I don't know. That's something that's really going to be dependent on what Blizzard allows people to do. But I, I plan on doing those tournaments, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to commentate them, and I think it's going to be amazing. <laughs> that's it. Just I, I, I can't see that not being a blast. Um... Even with it being still a casual type of system, I know people just want to do it, and I plan to host it as a result. So, so I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to that. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to that? Do not care about PvP. There's a lot of Diablo players who couldn't give a crap less about PvP. All they care about is the PvP game. You know, that's what Diablo is primarily known for, so I don't certainly blame people who are under the thought process of, hey, that's what I just want to stick with. And you know, we, we've seen a bit of Mantra of Evasion, and it's not really that pretty. <laughs> not much to see. I'm going to go back to, uh, actually, let me do some Breath of Heaven there. I haven't used that in a, at, at all, pretty much, this playthrough. So, this is going to be the heal. Uh, cost 75 spirit. A blast of holy energy heals you and your allies for within 12 yards for 58 to 77. That's a lot, given the uh, you know total life pool right now is only 104. It's over three-fourths. 
Over three fourths. It's a lot. Let's see if I can even uh, see if I even need it. I guess I could just get hit and use it, right? Maybe we'll do that. I'll just get hit a bunch and then I'll uh, then I'll go ahead and use it. All right, guys, come on, do your worst. Guys, come on. Oh crap, I've got thorns gear. <laughs> Watch these guys kill themselves. Are we ready for this, guys? I'm not even going to attack. The most exciting moment in all of my commentary's history. Watch these zombies kill themselves off of thorns while I heal myself with Breath of Heaven. Don't worry, it'll just be this pack. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. Oh, you zombies. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself, idiots. <laughs> that guy's headbutting me. I don't know if you guys notice that. Like, he's just been going straight up headbutt that whole time. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> there you go. Death by thorns. And you got to see uh, the breath of heaven in work. We will, we will rock you. It's a little off tempo though, so it's not perfect. I heard someone say that in the comments when I did the skill video. And I think I said this in the last uh, Let's Play, but I'm going to be doing the skill videos with the level 13 characters showcasing all skills. It's probably going to take a while because I want to make sure it looks good. I'm going to take my time with it, but uh, we'll, we'll do that. And the other thing too is, uh, you know, we, we have to keep in mind that this stuff's going to be changing a lot during the beta. Like skills and abilities, their orders, I mean, hell, entire resource systems are changing during the beta. Uh, so it, it makes it kind of like, eh, it makes it kind of iffy doing videos like that where we know that there's liable changes to take place. But I still want to do it because I know people want to see it, so... And even though more and more keys are going out as time progresses, I believe Tuesday? What's today? It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, I believe on Tuesday there was a uh, there were some skill there were some keys that went out. I healed myself up there. Breath of Heaven. Picked up Deadly Reach. Guess we can use that. Here's Breath of Heaven. That's a neat. It looks cool. I like that. It comes down, kind of. Will splash around you as well. I like that. Looks good. I just hate limiting myself to the single attack though. I don't really like, you know. Do I get XP from this? My name is no. It's gonna be pointless to pick those up then. So I'm not going to. I will not, because there's no benefit to it. I like that though. Look at the look. Ready? That looks good. Nice animation there. Good job, Blizzard. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you. Alright, I think we can switch now from the Fist of Thunder to Deadly Reach. There it is. Uh, six spear per attack projects lines of pure force within a short distance for 125 weapon damage. So this one's got a little bit of a reach to it here. Ready? See that? See how it goes uh, a little bit further each time. A little bit of a reach there. Keeping me out of harm's way. I'm just going to absorb all this massive amounts of damage, by the way, just so I can use Breath of Heaven. Just so there's a, there's a point behind it. So there's a purpose. What's my purpose? What's your purpose, Lady Monk? You're just here to showcase lady animations to my subscriber base. That's all you even do. Pathetic. Get a job. Get off your bum and get a job, Lady Monk. Ah, this guy's gone. There we go. What'd I pick up? Ooh, that's actually good. Say, uh, I'll take the three precision over the one attack. It's fine. That's not going to be a replacement, though. Let's uh, overheal. Ready? Overheal. I was already healed up. Didn't need it. Laid it down anyways. That's an overheal. I called that thick stash last time I saw that. Odd. <laughs> So odd. You know what I'm excited for, guys? I'm excited for BlizzCon. I am so, so looking forward to it. I'm going to be there with the guys uh, of Machinima Realm. Also be there with the guys from Diablo fans. And, um, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. Two, the whole two days, I'll be there Friday, Saturday. And, um, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to it. 
<laughs> I think uh, I think I'm gonna have a great time. And if you guys are going to BlizzCon and you'd like to meet me, absolutely feel free. I like to say hello to people, so I will say hello to you. <laughs> that will be the extent of our conversation. I will just say hello. Hello. Goodbye. Thank you. No, I'll chat it up as long as I've got time. I'm sure I'll be busy. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot for me to do there. Probably doing some interviews and doing uh, Diablo-related stuff. May even do some StarCraft-related stuff. I mean, I've been covering StarCraft for, you know, well, longer than I have been covering Diablo since August of last year. July, August of last year, I've been doing StarCraft content. Um, so, you know, there may be some StarCraft stuff for me to get done while I'm there. But obviously mostly Diablo just because that's what, you know, what I'm excited about right now. It's not taking away my love from my StarCraft homies because it's still there. I still got your commentaries and your strat videos coming. But right now, it's Diablo Frenzy time. So yeah, BlizzCon's gonna be fun. If you're going and you'd like to meet me, then uh, please come say hello. Don't be shy. I'm just a person just like you guys. You might, you might think of me as just a voice behind the, the computers, but I'm a real life person. For sure. No joke. And uh... If you don't know what I look like, there's plenty of videos that have that. I might do another video, a video or two of FaceTime before BlizzCon too, so you guys can see me. So I mean, how else are you gonna recognize me? I'll probably wear a shirt that says "Force" on it though. <laughs> I'm not talking name tag. I'm talking full frontal, full frontal name action there on my shirt. Get some of those made up. Some Force Strategy Gaming T-shirts. Huzzah! Okay, five armor, one attack. Is that the one that I replaced with the three precision? I guess I don't care so much about the armor. Let's take a look at the damage difference. Yeah, the precision is going to give me that extra DPS there. I miss out on two armor. I get the extra damage. I'll take that trade. I mean, hell, I'm not even getting hit right now. So it's not like uh, I need that extra armor all that much. Right? Correct. There's a big pack coming this time. Awesome. All right, now this is one of those bigger areas to explore, for sure. Lots and lots of stuff to see over here. Just a lot more ground to cover. Kind of wish that I had uh, something that allowed me to cover ground quicker. <laughs> like dashing strike right now. That'd be great. But I don't, so we just trek on. We work with what we've got, guys. Still waiting on the... Uh, on the some of the to hear back from some of the people for the cooperative play I I've got a video with Athene in the works that's coming I'm doing some co-op action sorry if you don't like Athene please realize that his videos are just him joking around if you're offended by him well then just don't watch that video guys okay all right dashing strike just when I needed it beautiful let's get that bad boy up there It'll allow allow me to Traverse this whole area much quicker. Here's some arcane enchanted shits. Just make sure I, I avoid some of that damage at all possible. Nice little heal there, though. And the Hydra that pops out upon death. That that attack speed's nuts, guys. It's crazy. Crazy. It really is, though. It's strong. Incredibly strong, actually. Not incredibly, but it's uh, it's basically the most threatening enchant that I've seen in the beta. It's one that actually, it's the one thing that's actually really legitimate spiky damage, right? And that's always kind of the worst. I mean, that was the worst thing to deal with uh, playing hardcore in Diablo and Diablo 2, right? The spiky damage is the is the scariest, just because you get dropped like that, you know? Rotting corpses. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Who am I, guys? Who was that? <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not funny. Uh, not even remotely. That's why I don't even try to be. <laughs> Ravenous deads. Grotesques. How was that? How did that happen? I didn't even... Didn't look like I did much there. The heal's nice though, really. I mean, this is undoubtedly this class.